what's up guys okay y'all today we're gonna be doing a cute little christmas ornament diy you're going to need these cute little salt and pepper uh set from the dollar tree some mod podge and some white spray paint um of course you can find the mod podge at the dollar tree but uh, unfortunately not the spray paint so let's get started guys Okay, first we're gonna take it obviously out the package and then remove the top from the salt and pepper shaker thingamajiggy and then we're gonna spray paint um, them individually. So y'all, let's get spray painting. Okay guys, here's another option that you could use your other salt and pepper um, container, shaker, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and uh, instead of the white cup, you can make the ice uh, coffee version. And for this, I'm going to be using this paint, which is light mocha. And I got this from Walmart for 50 cents. You're going to need a paintbrush and a green straw. So let's get started guys. I hope y'all still can see me. I had to rig up my camera. So I'm gonna paint on the inside of this cup. And so it's just simple guys. You could put it at any level you want. I'm just gonna start with a little dab. And I'm just gonna paint the inside. It's that simple. You could also, if you don't have paint, you probably could just um, print out on a piece of paper that color that you want, that mocha color, and just wrap it, like put it on the inside as well to give that look. Now, I don't really know how that's going to look, but we could try it out to see if it works. And this, this cup is textured. So I feel it's gonna look like ice already. And guys, it don't have to be perfect. We just, you know, want the illusion that it's some iced coffee in this bad boy. You kinda wanna go up because remember we're gonna add our wrapper to it. So, I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be back with the finished results, guys. Okay, so once you spray paint it, your, uh, your cup, let it dry, obviously. And then we're going to make our little brown wrapper. Now, if you want, you can actually just write on the cup or do decoupage. I cannot talk. That's why I had the Mod Podge, but I decided to just do the brown wrapper on my cup, and I'm going to put the logo on the brown wrapper, but you know, just re, uh, Google Starbucks, and you can uh, get the logo, and you know, get a, a reference of how, to, how the white cup is supposed to look, guys. Then... You uh, pull it into one of your uh, your drawing application. I'm using Photoshop, and you know, design your wrapper if that's the route that you're going. And I've already designed my wrapper, as you see. It's very simple. I wanted to keep it simple, but kind of authentic at the same time. And take proper measurements of it. This particular wrapper, I do believe, is is measuring at six roughly six inches guys and I found once again this uh, wrapper 
uh, template online, you know, Google it or what have you. Also, I'm going to actually print it out on craft paper, craft card stock paper. So I'll be saving ink. But if you choose to just, you know, color it brown and just cut it out that way, you can go that route as well. Okay guys, as you see, I got my little label on there. And all you know, we have the little holes already at the top. So I don't know exactly if this is going to go through. But before I glue my straw on, I'm going to just uh, thread this. This is only if you're going to use it as an ornament. You can skip this step entirely. But uh, I'm using mine as an ornament. So I wanted to do this first. show you how the inside of this cup is of course hollow and you have to make this paint as thick as you want as well and then this is the label and all I did was hot glue the back now I might want those a little bit bigger in the future but for now it works so I hot glued the label so it can stay and be more snug so now I'm gonna glue the Okay guys, I decided to be a little extra. I want like the whole straw in here. So I'm gonna measure it. <laughs> I'm gonna measure it from the inside, cut it off, and then glue the top. So it looked like it's actually going through the cup. So I just wanted to show you guys this step. Okay guys, I measured the top to make sure the top can go on, um, the, you know, the lid can get back on it. And then I hot glued the straw to the bottom so it can stay in place. So very simple, just all you gotta do is measure your straw and just trial and error so you can make sure the top will fit back on it. And there you have it guys, two Starbucks cups made with Dollar Tree salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> How easy was that guys? And these can be used as you already know as ornaments. You can also, if you're giving somebody a Starbucks uh, gift card, you can attach it with one of these uh, cups. And it's two gifts in one. I think that would be so cute guys. So and, you know the creativity is endless. You gotta have two white cups, two iced coffees, so on and so forth. You can even add whipped cream, you know how you do that with like the puffy paint, uh whatever. So whatever you see fit, go ahead and challenge yourself and try it guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already please subscribe to my channel if you like this video, go ahead and hook me up with a thumbs up. See you guys tomorrow.